This is episode 73 of the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, January 10th, 2022. In this week's show, we review four craft beers. First is a barrel-aged ghost with cucumbers and sea salt from Humble Sea. Then a hazy IPA and a double hazy IPA from South Lake Brewing. And then we close out the show with a collaboration imperial pastry stout with adjuncts between Humble Sea and Finback Brewery. This is the Podcraft Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. We got your other host, Charlie. Yo! We got tech guy, Steve. Hello, hello. Get the band back together. Yeah. There it is. Early. After New Year's, Christmas, Hanukkah, yeah. Kwanzaa. Yep. Yeah. Celebrate them all. Now we're going to Now we're going to drink beer. Drink some beer. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna drink some beer. That's for dang sure. What do you got? Uh, what do you got to start with? We got here, some Charlie. humble seas, and we got some new ones from South Lake Tahoe. I like it, a brewery. We haven't had anything from one of our favorites, Jake. Jake brought this over. Loyal listener, Jake. Thank you, Jake. So, what's the uh, what's the first beer you're? Uh... This is the cucumber from uh, Humble Sea, and it is a. Gosh, I can't see what it says. Barrel aged goes with cucumbers and uh, yeah. sea salt. Oh my gosh, it's good. I'm oh, sorry, my bad there. I'm pouring. So this beer came out about a year ago. Uh, the, I, I believe the, the or the first time we had had it was about a year ago. Mm. Um, super light goes. Um, I was super impressed with it last time. Super we excited had to try it. Slushies of it up there. That's the wicked part of it, man. Those things they are so They did good. have this cucumber goes um, slushies they were running. Mm. It's just, it's so, it's like a salad, man. It's so good. I do feel healthier. One drink. Yes. Mm-hmm. Look at me. I have practically lost, you know, 100 pounds over this bottle yeah, of beer. Yeah, you know, it was my... Uh, oh, you could smell the cucumber. I gave mm-hmm. up green foods for uh, for the new year. Good choice. Yeah. So the, uh, this is... Here we are, week in. I feel like I'm cheating, but... Having some cucumbers. Yeah. Everybody likes cucumbers. Come on. Mm. That's an amazing beer. That, really they've good. done a, a super job with that. Yeah, if you would have told me I would like this, I would say no. But I know. Isn't that weird? I didn't think we would either. Then we tasted it when yep. we were up there, and we just like, what a bunch of mm. bozos. Yeah, I think we per- they, they did a purchase of it, and we, we ordered like one or two bottles or i think yeah maybe maybe it was i think one for aaron and then one for us Mm. and then um cucumber yeah the gold medal winner yeah oh wow it's it's legit that's that's their that's one of their best i think it's super refreshing right like a soup you know like a light sour goes like a gosh it that, that cucumber comes through really really good you can actually yeah super tasty on that part uh and i'm not a huge cucumber fan but I am a cucumber fan, mm-hmm. but um, I mean, you could do this thing a bunch of different ways, you know, like with the slushy, they could add this to an IPA and probably just jack it up and make it taste super melony. Mm. Ah, cucumber like IPA. What? If cucumber IPA. If yeah. anybody could do it, it's them. I think they could. I think they could easily. Yeah, it's super tasty. It says right on the side, gold medal, California Craft Brewers Cup. Man, and well-deserved there. Uh, they list this as a barrel-aged mixed fermentation goes, uh, conditioned on freshly juiced cucumbers and Himalayan sea salt, aged for six months in neutral oak wine barrels. Nice. Yeah, it says it was barrel-aged for six months and then bottle conditioned, so just rest it in the bottle for an additional mm. two. That's amazing. Mm. Yeah, it's a uh, powerful cucumber smell and taste coming off of that thing. It's like slices of cucumbers you're just drinking. I love it. No, it is super, super tasty. That's, uh, yeah, that last one we had was in the summer. Super refreshing in the summer. Um, we got a couple of those. Uh, That's when we went up there for that uh, stout release, right? I don't know if they shipped them before that. That's when we went for that stout release we got that we got the slushies. That, that yeah. was their slushie of the day. Yeah, That's that when I was like, what an idiot I was to not to get those. They were good. Yeah, now we, we knew as soon as I saw that. Get yep. me some of those. No, that was a uh, that was a good call for sure. So if you see these on sale somewhere, grab them all. Yeah, that's what I advise. Yeah, they're definitely top of the liners. 
Uh, they uh, they do a good job. I don't think I've had a bad beer from them yet. I will see. I mean, just everything they do is like top notch. Yeah, they they for sure do a great job. Hey, so you guys have any decent beers recently? Hmm. Hmm. Let me think. It's been a minute. It's been a month, almost exactly. Since yeah, I recorded last. I uh, I had some really tasty uh, um, Montuckies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, I've been drinking Montuckies and uh, uh, what else? Uh, Party Cup, Birdie the Bogey. So some, you've been running through some light North Park Yeah, beers. just mm-hmm. nice easy, you know, the, um, tastiers. I actually turned a, uh, I, when I was in, in Phoenix last week, I turned a coworker of mine on to, to Montucky. We went out and they, they had Big Spill Pills from... Uh, or the, this restaurant was supposed to have Big Spill Pills from uh, Ren House. Yeah. Uh, they didn't have it. Um, he's like, man, I want something light. And I'm like, get that Montucky mm-hmm. cold snack. So they had cans of Montucky cold snack at this place. So <laughs> we were just, uh, we were popping those. So they were out of anything, anything light. That's insane. That was light enough for him, mm-hmm. huh? For sure. Super good. But the next day, I um, I swung into uh, Ren House and had a uh, dry hopped Valley beer, which mm-hmm. was super good. They didn't have it in cans. The um, I, I had one beer. And uh, I left. <laughs> the bartendress was not your favorite, huh? I, I, you know, and, and uh, maybe it was me. Maybe I just wasn't, uh, I was, uh, you know, my cell phone wasn't charged. I was, well, imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> I was running on empty. I had to, I had to find Do you need it. to plug in, by the way? No, I'm good. I'm like, I, I knew you knew me right? after yeah. having to navigate to the airport like we had to do in the olden days by watching the sky for where the airplanes were flying from. <laughs> like, I was able to find the airport oh, and, wow. uh, and make my way home. Okay. But I was like, I am not. I'm so much new year, new me. Uh-huh. Charging my phone every night. Uh, okay. I'm uh, after that. Yeah. Yeah. They, uh, Two days. I'm not doing it. Exactly. <laughs> just buy, I actually yeah. buy a brick for every day. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I know. That's what I got to do. Because I actually ended Monday up, brick, Tuesday brick. I, I was brick. so like, and you know, that's uh, neither. Anyways, I yeah, I didn't have didn't have a charger. Mm. I tried to go two days with no charge, didn't work out. Then mm. I ended up buying a charger. It was like super fast charger. I like char- tried to charge the thing for like three hours. I was at six percent on my phone. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is terrible. That's terrible. So, <laughs> Sounds like fun. But that but hey, that rent house. It's great, great little uh, establishment. They didn't have anything available? No, they did. You just didn't want to waste your time. I was, uh, yeah, I wasn't. In mm. I, and yeah, I didn't really have my proper, I didn't have my the, the proper Suitcase. luggage to uh, to travel with. I just had my. I thought you uh, drove out there. Mm. My bad. No, originally that was my plan. That's what I thought. Yeah, well, I was, actually, I was, Christy and I talked about it. I was like, oh, he probably just drove. I, that drove. was my plan. Originally, yeah. I was going to drive. And then I should have, like, I could have, it would have been far more comfortable <laughs> than. <laughs> um, but you know, getting back was well, mm-hmm. yeah, because my plane was delayed. So in the end, I got done at noon. I got back here at eight thirty. Oh right? my god! So I could have driven. I could have hung out at Ren House and uh, <laughs> driven back with for a couple pallets, hours for, yeah. with pallets of the day. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, so, yeah, yeah. Bummer. I didn't. Uh, I didn't drive. Woo. How tough, about you, Steve? What'd yeah, you tough. Yeah. So uh, Christmas present from Christy Port Brewing, Santa's Little Helper, an Ooh. Imperial Stout with hazelnut and coffee. Great, yeah, great. Beer. Did you like it? Yeah, it was in can bottles. Yeah, where'd Frasier. you pick up at? Fraser. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I had one, and then I went over on the twenty sixth, and there were none left. It was, yeah, they were all gone. Like, so, so in previous years, I found that beer, and I didn't see it this year, but uh-huh. um, previous year it's been at Costco, oh. and then shortly thereafter, like, is it's you know the, like mm-hmm. the Christmas beer. It's a stout, yeah, right? Like yeah. you could age that thing for a yeah. year. Nine point nine percent. Yeah, and then they end up out. dropping them like super cheap. Yeah, twelve. Like on the twenty two ounces. Beer. 12. They, 12. Yeah, they, they, they recently they've been in 12. They used to yeah. be in. Uh, it was so bombs. good. I mean, it was like Horace esque in a way. Yeah. It was like, I just have like, well, well, this is coming out of a, like, an, not a special bottle. Yeah. And that's, it. I mean, that's like one of their, uh, their go to beers. He makes great beer. Mm. Um, you know, those, those guys, Port and Lost Abbey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, but yeah, lots of great beers over the holidays for sure. What's next, Charlie? This is Fog Nozzle. Mm. It's a hazy from. South Lake, Tahoe. We don't like hazy beers. Yes, we do. We so love this, hazy beers. This South Lake Brewing, it's a, uh, yeah, South Lake, Tahoe. 
Uh, the fog nozzle is a 6.8 ABV. Uh, it's 35 IBUs. It's a New England style IPA fermented with uh, an expressive yeast and hop to the gills with mosaic, equinot, Simcoe, and Azaka hops. Notes of oatmeal and apricot preserves, pineapple, mango, orange juice. Mm, I and smell a all the coniferous forests. Make this beer a real treat. That time. smells good. This is from our buddy Jake, and uh, he dropped them by today, doggone it. So we're right on it. We're getting them fresh out of the baggie. So he brought these in uh, a green cheek, uh, vice beer, and then uh, what else did he bring us? Oh, he brought me um, a Modern Times uh, sour smoothie that was really good. Can't remember the name of it, though. But anyways, I've been sitting here watching uh, football and golf. So, uh, it's enjoyable. It smells think, fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's really good. It's more hoppier on the tongue than I was, than Air I usually hazy is. Right. That, that's good for me because it, right. it tastes like a West Coast IPA. <laughs> I'm going to give it an okay. It's not my favorite. Ooh. It's got a little like bitter end to it. Yeah, no, it's it's nice. It's really like mellow in the front, but it does have a little bitter. You, it certainly mm -hmm. tastes more hops than you normally do. Yeah. Man, that is uh, that's kind of tasty. Fog nozzle, South Lake beer. Yeah, and uh, so if we're heading back up there in February, we're going to be knocking this place out. Check this uh, this spot out, South Lake Tahoe, California. Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly where we're going to be, but it's not a big area. I know that. I'm going to be on the mountain, Charlie. I'm going to be cooking steaks and lobster and. Scallops. Mm. Well, that's tasty. It's nice and light. You know, like I, uh, I'm not a not a huge hazy IPA fan. Shocker. Tend to uh, stick with my roots here on the West Coast. <laughs> your roots, mm -hmm. <laughs> not your nor'easter up there. Oh yeah, yeah. Minnesota. No. You probably lived here longer than you have lived in Minnesota. Yeah, I mean, I've been here twenty. Gosh, it's pretty close. Close. You're right half and half about. Yeah, probably. Uh, gosh, when did I move out of here? 2000. And it's 22. All right, I'm 45. I spent a year in Chicago, a year in Virginia. Yeah. All dang. Wonderful year in overseas. Virginia. Yeah, yeah, it's a little time overseas. <laughs> guess that was after. So I haven't quite. Mm. It's pretty close, though. Yeah. I, I try not to talk like those. Uh, <laughs> Does it come back when you're there? Absolutely. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. my family for a few days, and I'm like, oh, don't you know? <laughs> for uh, sure. Mm. Oh, Chris, did you get any yes. of that beer? Yeah. <laughs> or to be like, oh, a, yeah, a boot. <laughs> Bunch of scroll going on there. Skull. That's what it is. Skull. That's right. All not right. This year, not the rest of this year. That's really tasty, Charlie. Your next one better, uh, mm. better hit like that. This one is um, Powabunga uh, Radical Nectarine Pineapple Double Hazy. I squeezed the lid before I was ready. Better get you on here, Steve. Steve's getting a load get, of beer. Get, get, a, get our video game up. Let's. This smells good. I can smell it from here. Crease. So this Powabunga is a hazy double IPA. Clocks mm. in at 8%. Woo! Uh, they're utilizing British pale malt along with flaked and golden naked oats, creating a fluffy, silky mouthfeel. It uh, is hazy. Base shots of Amarillo and Eldorado and Azaka hops lend red notes of apricot, melon, pineapple. It's orange juicy looking. They, uh, they say slay pow drink beer. I'm excited to slice it. Sounds like you, man. Yeah, not today. But the uh, I'm excited about a little trip to, to Tahoe. Try to do a little, uh, little wow, ski and check that little lake out. That's different, dude. That's, uh, you get a lot of flavor in the middle there, and on the end, it's, it's, it's quite bitter. Tastes like a West Coast IPA with a bunch of stuff in front of it. I'm a fan. Mm -hmm. Wild on those. I like the front taste on this one, but the back taste on it is not it's not my favorite, but you bring your fan of the uh the other one tastes a little bit better to me. Mm -hmm. That's just me though. 
Looks like a little fuller body on this one. Is what they're. Uh... It's eight percent too. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of It'll sneak up on you. ABV, if you ask me, for a uh, hazy. Yeah, you get a little. Although uh, my buddy Jeff brought over some doubles from uh, Green Cheek that are eight and nine percent. Hmm. It's a ridiculous amount of booze in them. Yeah, I'd say a little boozier. I don't know if I like the mm -hmm. the hop combo as much on this one as I, I do the other. The other. The other one. Um, this one's got a really good upfront taste, though. It's just the back end I'm not a big fan of. Now the other one, I think it was the other way around. Mm. There wasn't a whole lot there on the beginning, but on the end, you're tasting the hops. Just a uh, little visual concept, front and back. Yep. Much more hazy than the last one, like in the glass. Yeah, it is a lot hazier. But I'm, you know, hazy is not really... I've tasted hazies that mm -hmm. weren't hazies. I mean, they weren't supposed to be hazies, at least. You know, maybe they just didn't, you know, filter it through mm -hmm. enough. Like an unfiltered IPA right. isn't really a hazy IPA. It's That's only true. hazy because it, you can't see through it. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, like I said, that other one tastes a little bit better. It's not bad. You can taste a lot of booze in there, though. That's yeah, it is a little boozier. Certainly the other one hit the, you know, I mean, 6.8%, 8 but the this one comes across a lot. Uh, That's a good-looking can, though. Mm -hmm. They have some really cool cans, yeah. Yeah. Got I like the little, little AB... ABV, IBU, hops, I, body piece. What's the IBU? Look at that over here as yeah, well. So, yeah, so they yeah, what you say? Kind of walks you across walks the you beer. Through, yeah, yeah. It gives so you 40 same. IBUs. Yeah, it gives you like a, a real quick, you know, like it tells you what yeah, the hops yeah. are, right? So yeah. if you're looking for your, your certain hop, kind of shows you where it falls on dry. The body you know, is dry. bold mm -hmm. on this one. And what is that? This one, uh, it's right in the middle. Medium. But yeah, then drops your alcohol yeah, yeah. level and your, mm -hmm. your IBUs. That's what the, what are the IBUs on that one, Charlie? Forty. What's it on that one? Thirty-five. Yeah, a little bit less. I could tell. I had my IBU meter uh, <laughs> working there. Yeah, yeah, it was working. Yeah. yeah, I had it down to five. Wow, how bunga! Oh, here you go. With wasty tropical flavors, thanks to an expressive yeast and new age hops. You already read that though, didn't you? Yeah, was, what is New Age? Is that just like a type, or, or are they making a musical uh, reference? I mean, these are these are not <laughs> anything that you wouldn't use on any other. Yeah, I just don't like idea. the combination. They're nothing really standard. No. Well, the El Dorado is legit, but I mean, there. Yeah, it's a different batch of hops. Great. Right. Where you're I feel usually, like doing this? Here's, with, here's with, for what Ryan did with that uh, that stout that night. <laughs> He did, I think he did it with several things. You got into the arm tossing too there. Boom. Reverse yeah. drinking. <laughs> At that point, you probably should have stopped. So. <laughs> that night. No, I was just playing with some uh, Frisbee golf. Yes. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh Yeah, the, I think the IPAs. I'm going I'm going straight IPA. The regular, the the first, I like the name of the second one. You know, I mm -hmm. like the uh, the Powabunga more than the uh, the name of than the Fog Nozzle, but the, the taste. I got to go the uh, it's Fog Nozzle all the yeah. way. Yeah, Fog Nozzle. Charlie, what else are you uh, holding in your? Uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna pop. What else you got open. your quiver? We're gonna pop a uh, banana cocoa nar nar, like a dar dar nar nar. Yeah. So we'll loop back and, and finish off today with a with a collab with with uh, Humble C and Finback out of out of Queens. So this is a um, it's an imperial stout conditioned with bananas, coconut, and vanilla. Let's see where this uh, this guy lands. The um, it's a goodie. I can smell bananas. And you do the banana smell. Yeah, uh, you, yeah, yeah you get yeah, a lot of bananas. Cocoa in front. too. Smell. What else? Coconut. Yeah, a cocoa. Uh, yeah. Uh, Smells delicious. Mm. Oh my gosh. That tastes That's it. wicked good. Yeah. Way to end it up there. Yes, sir, Bob. So these are ones you guys picked up there? This one? I don't, I don't know, know when we, from. if we either, yeah, either ordered it or mm. um, they had a certain amount of releases when we were up for the, we went for a beer release, the innate, like, 
So oh. the goal was to have the the Anejo uh, kooks or just we for get that kooks. Big or, bottle, yeah. Um, they poured us that one. Yep. So we we bought a bottle of that. That's what we drove up there to pick up, and then ended up with a few other bottles. This may have been one. I know you, uh, or you may have picked it up earlier in the year, but I don't know. Gosh, have we had so any good. beers from Finback? I don't know that we have. Yeah, yeah there. I did update the, the website with all the beers from September through December. So yeah, that was great. This is fun. So, yeah. So definitely check out the website if you want to see all the different beers we had for the different breweries we had. Narnar is just mm -hmm. great. But it's it's interesting looking at back through those about like what what breweries we've had a lot of and then what breweries we've had less of and then right. when you're like oh we didn't have anything from virgin less like you know what i mean like you, right you, you just you see some patterns there. yeah like, i was i was kind of noticing like when you when you had put those in there like the you were definitely heavy on on some brewery yeah, yeah. you know we're Hor heavy on north like, park like horse. Horse, horse always hits, hits right the, like, well why, why wouldn't you be yeah yeah Right. Well, because of the, between the t three months that we're doing it, I'm trying to do it every three months, but last yeah. year was a little wonky with COVID. Well, we, there were a lot of times when breweries were shut down at times when we were doing mm -hmm. it too. And they weren't, they didn't have cans. They didn't have any way to, to, you know, get the things out, get their beers out. And mm -hmm. it was hard to get out anyways. I mean, at that point, but yeah, there's, you know, yeah. everything's, things are changing. Yeah. So you've rapidly. had beer, you've had beers sort of thin back though yourself. From Dean Queens or no? I'm gonna I'm gonna yourself? double check. I have had them, I'm sure, but I don't. Remember. They're not like memorable mm, ones. Right. But this right here, let me tell you. Yeah, I don't know that I've had That's anything that style. hasn't been like a collab. Mm. Um, mm. Oh wow, that is let's see insane. They make some phenomenal beers. I mean, they definitely uh, uh, make some really good IPAs. These, uh, there's something about these stouts that uh, Humble Sea makes. Now, I'm not going to say every one of them's, uh, you know, out of the park, but in the 95 to 98 percent of them, mm -hmm. I mean, they're just legitters. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to understand how. I mean, because there's only a few people that are doing this on a, on that high yeah. level, mm -hmm. you know, that are coming through with these outstanding stouts on a regular basis. And that's Kyle or Horace, and these guys. Moxa is is a can be a hit and miss, you know. Oh man, they're a great brewery. I was so nervous about that the banana. No, it's not big, but it's that's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, definitely the chocolate. I think the coconut, vanilla. You don't taste a whole lot of banana. I don't think, but it's, it's just, just a sweet, just like the end of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like the, it's almost like vanilla, and it's it's filling in on creamy. the creamy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's good. I mean, yeah. that is. It's a heck of a beer. Gosh, the I need to drink more beer. <laughs> I just, it's a daily podcast. Well, I will admit that I did have a Bloody Mary today. So no, did I? Yes, I did. Have a Bloody it was Mary. delicious. No, I did not. You God, didn't. I, well, I can set you up. <laughs> <laughs> man i went to this place so the um i was at this place in big bear i forget the name i hope to forget the name of it at some point but the this place was so expensive that uh so me and uh me and my friend you know I, I i stayed at a buddy of mine's cabin uh up there and then um i stopped in to just grab lunch with him and the uh look at, i got i got a coors light while i was there right eight bucks Woo! Whoa. Like for a bottle. I was like, are we still on the mountain? That's six pack, dude. <laughs> right. I was like, what? Like, oh golly. You can get a yeah, six pack two, of Montucky for that. I got two tiny Bloody Marys. And it was just like a regular, like it was the down, like the downtown of Big Bear. It wasn't like anything, anything, no place yeah, special. Yeah. It was just mm. like a bar and restaurant you would walk into, right? Nothing, nothing like. It wasn't like you walk in and you're like, I bet you they're going to hit me over the head for $26 for two 12-ounce margaritas or, or Bloody Marys. No, but they did. Mm. They were a little incognito. And they were happy about it. Yeah. yeah. We were the only people there. And then I was like, after, I was like, oh, this is awesome. We have this whole place to ourselves. And then they hit me over the head for what they, I understood <laughs> why we were the only You're going to pay for everybody not being there. Yes, exactly. Everybody else understood. <laughs> What was going on in that establishment? So, how many runs you get in? 
six, five, I think. Yeah, but you get that free pass. Yeah. Well, it's not free. But not free. Well, yeah. once you get up, it, it's certainly like yeah. the, it, it, the, the. It made it worthwhile with the the, the the per downhill experience is getting cheaper every time you go. It is. It is. <laughs> I've paid it off. Like if I, I've certainly paid uh, it off by now. Yeah. And the um, uh, I mean, I think that was day number eight mm-hmm. for me All right. uh, on my run to twenty five. Yeah. Right. Like I'm trying to get twenty five okay. days. Um, so what you're telling me is you didn't take any beer up there with you. No, I didn't. I did. I did actually bring. I brought a. Uh, I don't want to talk about the type of beer I brought up there to <laughs> pay my rent at my buddy's cabin. <laughs> but, but um, yeah, certainly I didn't bring anything with me. I I, I was going to, but um, I I was just kind of I was racing out of town. <laughs> yeah, most establishments don't understand the idea of bringing your own beer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm not so certain this these people. Although it would have been a heck of a lot cheaper for me to pay a six dollar corkage fee to pop my own beer or something, you know. But uh, you're you're up two bucks on them then. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it was yeah. ridiculous. And you I, wouldn't have been drinking Coors Light. I couldn't even i I couldn't even believe yeah. it. Like when I was that's like, actually a funny thing to start doing. It's like. Hey, hey! I brought my own beer. Can you just cork this? And right, like you went, you go to Outback Steakhouse. Like, right, is there is a lot of places like you can, like you can pay they, a they wine cork. I know, but they don't even have the concept. Right, <laughs> there and there, you should be able to. Yeah. Like you know, I mean, it's like like my brother. Like um, I come from a, a well. Yeah, my brother was the big fan. He was a big guy. Like anytime he goes to a restaurant, he's bringing a bottle of wine, mm-hmm. right, to cork himself because mm-hmm. he's. Like it's, and I don't even know that he likes wine, but he likes to save money and he likes to look at the menu and say, I just saved myself $28. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, I'm yeah, like, yeah. But I don't know. I'm going to start doing it. Yeah. Like, That's hey, an interesting just, idea. Yeah. Can I just cork this? They look at you like, why <laughs> couldn't you? Well, you know what? I'm going to suggest you don't go to Jack in the Box, <laughs> McDonald's. You tell me I need to Burger step my King. game up. <laughs> well, to do that. Yeah. Or, or or go to Europe and then you can. Right. <laughs> we tried, uh, me and Brian, when we were in uh, Virginia, or no, we were in uh, Atlanta. Um, and we were we were at like the Hampton Inn, I think. And we're like, hey, like at, I, I forget what hotel we were at. Maybe, maybe the Hilton in there. But there was like six or eight of us, and and we had like every one of us had like a big bottle of stout. And we we're like, <laughs> can we just pay a corkage fee like in their hotel bar? And the guy's like, no, you cannot do that. Like you got to beat it. <laughs> Why not? So we just went. Around, I was like, hey, can we just get eight glasses and went around the corner and like the reception area and just like open it myself. Uh, that's funny. That would have been. That's like my favorite part of like work meetings. You know, yeah. is like the you know kind of the team building afterwards, mm-hmm. like yeah. over a couple of beers mm-hmm. and like some really good beers, and not yeah. sitting down and you know paying overpriced hotel price beers. But sharing beers that guys bring from all over the country. Good yeah. beers like this. Right. Mm-hmm. No, that's definitely that's one that you want to beer. show up with. Everybody get a little taster of. Gosh, it's so good. Mm. I, I can't believe how good these beers are, really. No, that's uh that's super, super tasty. What's uh what would you guys uh what'd you guys think of the beers today? How would you guys uh, how would you guys rank them there? I'm gonna rank them with uh the stout number one, then the then the cucumber, and then uh the Fog nozzle and then the plower power. Pow? Yep. Pow bunga. That's what it is. Last. I mean, it was just too boozy for me, but the other one was pretty good, actually. Yep. So I'm the same. Hey. Pretty easy. Yeah. I mean, I think that I I didn't have very high expectations on the stout. I think, yeah. you know, I kind of went into it. Like, I think, you know, recently I've had a couple of them that, that were a little like kind of bo- or just not really well balanced. Mm. That's unbelievably yeah. well balanced. You don't, it's not boozy. It's just, it's like a pastry, right? As it warms up, it's getting even yeah. better. Too. Yeah. And this is a cold glass. Too. Right. So it's probably about 50 degrees right now. So once again, humble sea, like, you know, the, the banana, coconut, nar, nar, the, uh, the cucumber, that was phenomenal. That was a really good start. A little chilly on the, on the front end. You know, I mean, if it was six months from now, yeah, I'd probably yeah. swap the, yeah. you know, which, which one I, I thought was a little bit better. We're a little chilly sitting around the fire, uh, but certainly the fog nozzle. Um, took it, took it, uh, took it in third place. That was that was a great IPA. Thanks, Jake. Yeah, thanks, Jake. Yeah. The the Powabunga, uh When I get up there, I'll uh, pass on that one. Yeah, but, that, you gotta, but you got to check. Our, they got to have a West Coast IPA. Right? They got IPA. to. Yeah, and that's where I'll. Other, that's where they, I'll, I'll. They probably got I'll a be their lager. They probably have a porter. No, yeah, I'm sure they got all kinds of yeah, beers yeah. that we can bring home with us. Yeah. So the um, no, I'm excited. Don't worry. South I think Lake we're going to be brewery. we're going to be drinking a lot of stouts that weekend. I'm sure it's going to be uh, stout fest. 
It's going to be crazy. All righty, man. All, All right, right, gents. Once again, it's good welcome to, back. Good to be back together. Yeah. Cheers. 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 We hope you have enjoyed today's show. If you would like to subscribe to this show via your favorite podcast player application, then head over to the podcraft.com website and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures and videos of all the beers we try, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. The site also has links to send us direct feedback and to connect with us on social media. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with us. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. Have a super awesome rest of your day. The Podcraft Beer Show podcast is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020 through 2022. The podcast is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, then please email the podcast podcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for informational, educational, and discussion purposes only in compliance with the fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed in this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. <laughs>